Hi, I'm John Jeremy and this is a series of presentations about the use of technology in indexing. This is the fourth presentation and in this one I want to introduce the use of specialised indexing software. There are several indexing software packages available but here I'm going to talk about the one that I use and recommend myself, Sky Index from Sky Software. I'll put their website address up on the screen at the end of the presentation. There's a free demo version of the program available for download from the site if you want to try some of these things out as we do them. Sky Index is a spreadsheet style program built around a database system. What that means for the user is that every change to the index is saved immediately as soon as you enter it. There's no need to remember to save every few minutes and no data is lost in the event of a system crash. I'll open an index here. You can see the way that it's laid out there on the screen. If you do need to make a backup you can do so through the file backup command and this allows you to store uh, backup copies on a memory stick or in the cloud for instance if you, you know, to be perfectly safe. You can see the spreadsheet layout here. The first column is used for the main entries in the table in the index and the last column is used for page numbers and cross-references. see if we can find one of those. There we go. There's a cross-reference there. The middle column is used for subheadings. If you don't have any subheadings in your index you can turn that off altogether. If you have more than one level of subheading, you can display up to six of these columns. But I'll just go back to the one there now. Over at the left hand side, there's a vertical panel which shows you more or less what the index will look like when it's printed out. It's very useful as a way of checking that uh, what's actually happening, what's happening here is actually what you want to happen in the, the index itself. Indexes that you create using the program are stored as files, files with an SK7 extension for Sky Index version 7. They can be backed up and stored and copied like any other kind of file, but they will only open up within the Sky Index program. To produce a file that can be used in a word processing system or edited, you need to say index generate. And that will turn out a word processing type file. If you want to view or work on that file yourself, you can do index edit print and that not only generates an index but brings it up in your word processing program of choice for viewing and editing. In this case it's uh, WordPad. So that's the word processing file that's output from this particular index. The features of Sky Index that I want to look at in this presentation are autocomplete, adding cross-references, sorting and labels. Sky Index has many other settings and options that we'll look at later in other presentations but for now I'll just focus on these. Let's start with autocomplete. I'll come down and add a, a new entry to the index here. And you can see that as I type it goes looking for entries that are already in the index that match. As I continue typing that match changes. When I'm happy with the results I can press enter. If the entry I want is not in there yet I can keep going and add a new one. The same applies to cross-references. I come over to the page column and type C. Autocomplete kicks in and again, once again whatever I type will automatically complete for me with some existing entry. There's autocomplete in cross-references as well. With regard to sorting, we have three basic options in Sky. The first sort is in entry order, as you actually typed it all in, so it's more or less in page number order, but not necessarily. And that's the order in which the entries were actually made. You can get to it through clicking on this button here or through the view menu view as entered. If you click on the second button, the entries are sorted into page number order and again it's available through the view menu as view page ordered. And if you click on the third button you get alphabetical order which should be more or less what you also see here at the left hand side and again that's available through the view menu as well 
as view sorted. Finally, labels. If there's some particular entry or set of entries that you want to draw attention to, you can click on those entries or click and drag to select or control click and then go to the label menu and choose the label that you want to apply and that shows up as a color in those fields and when you're in a labeled, field, labeled uh, row the label number appears at the bottom there. There are nine labels altogether. You can also apply them with the keyboard by control 1, control 2, control 3 and so on. So there's label 4, label 5. To turn the labels off you just press the same key again or again go back through label toggle and that will remove or change the label to something else. So there's a, a very very quick introduction to the basics of Sky Index. You should be able to see the details with the website on the screen now. In the next presentation I'll talk about the uh, options menu, specifically preferences and data entry. Uh, but I'll leave it there for now. Thank you for your time uh, and I'll see you later on.